You never know what's gonna happen when you're out there on the water. Things can go wrong quickly and you may need an assist, just like some of the things we'll see in this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. Our first story to make the boating news this week is going to take us over to Washington, where this was the scene this past week. When the ferry vessel Walla Walla was making its scheduled trip from Bremerton to Seattle with 600 passengers on board and 15 crew members, when all of a sudden as it entered Rich Passage near Bainbridge Island, the vessel encountered an issue. Walla Walla, Walla brace for impact. Brace for impact. Alright, if I can have everybody's attention please. It's not a drill. You run aground. The vessel during its voyage wound up losing power, causing the captain to lose the ability to steer the ship, then causing the vessel to go ahead and ground on Bainbridge Island. Fortunately, during this incident, there were no injuries reported during the grounding. The vessel was stuck on the beach for several hours while crews waited for the tide to come in and pick the boat up off the bottom of the seafloor. Once the tide started coming in, U.S. Coast Guard vessels and tugboats actually were able to go ahead and pull the boat back off the beach and get it refloated. Passengers were then transferred to Kitsap Transit vessels that took them back to Bremerton. Most passengers were off the vessel around 10 p.m., but those with cars had a little different fate. While they were able to leave the vessel, they were told they were going to have to leave their cars on board the ferry overnight and they could come pick them up the next morning. There were approximately 120 cars on the ferry vessel at the time of the incident. Current reports claim that the incident was caused by a generator failure causing the vessel to lose power, but both the Coast Guard and the company that owned the ferry ship have launched an investigation. Currently, the ferry has been moved to port where it can get inspection done to determine what the cause of the problem was and try and fix the issue. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to bring us back to the East Coast and over to the state of Maryland, where this was the scene just a little bit over a week ago when massive wind and rainstorms came rolling through the East Coast, causing all kinds of havoc at several port terminals. The terminal seen here is the Dundalk Port Terminal just outside of Baltimore, and the vessel is the railroad carrier vessel Atlantic Sky. Here we can see as the wind comes rolling in, it winds up pushing the vessel off of the dock and winds up actually breaking some of the docking lines. Here we can see the vessels basically being manhandled by the wind and current. You can hear over the radios as the crew is being told to man their stations and get back to the deck as the captain tries to regain control of the ship and get it back onto the dock. Fortunately in this situation they are pretty quickly able to get the vessel back under control and no injuries are reported but it really is a wild scene and shows you just how fast things can get out of hand even for a vessel that's already tied up and at port. Our next story to make the boating news this week is going to take us across the ocean over to Australia where this was the scene just a few weeks back when four men had to be rescued just off of Western Australia's coast when their vessel wound up sinking. Emergency crews received distress calls of a vessel taking on water approximately 300 yards off the coast of Garden Island. These boaters got exceptionally lucky as rescue crews already happened to be in the area. In fact, it took less than 15 minutes for the first rescue boat to arrive. Upon Upon arrival, their vessel had already capsized and sunk, only the bow was barely showing above the water. The rescue crews are quickly able to rescue the first two boaters and set out on a search to try and find the remaining two who are in the water. Once they do come upon them, they find them holding onto a cooler. And here's where things get a little bit interesting, showing you how some people can still have a serious situation but still keep it lighthearted, a little bit fun and upbeat when things are going a little wrong. Right here you're going to hear these boaters kind of pick fun as the boaters were holding onto the cooler but it was the wrong one. This is the cooler with the ice in the bay and the boater winds up saying, oh no, the other one had the adult beverages. You can hear the heartbreak in our boater's heart once he realizes this cooler doesn't have the product in it he was hoping to have for the ride back to shore. Fortunately in this situation, due to the quick timing and rescue efforts of this crew, no injuries were reported and these guys were brought safely back to shore. Unfortunately, the other cooler was never found. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode of Boating News of the Week. If you ever see anything crazy happening out on your waterways, be sure to hit us up on Facebook or Instagram and let us know and you might see your stories over here. Just like Grow Grow 12201, Remy Danielson, Picasso West, John F, 
and Robert Willis did this week. And if you guys haven't already, go ahead and drop an anchor on the subscribe button here. If not, we're coming to steal your drain plug.